The old is new again in the effort to reduce the spread of COVID-19, RSV, and the flu. WCPO 9 News reporter Taylor Nimmo joins us from Cincinnati Children's with steps they are now taking to keep staff and patients healthy. Starting this week, all Cincinnati Children's staff will be required to wear masks. Now this comes after a rise in respiratory illnesses. As a pediatric institution, I think we are intentionally more aggressive about some of these precautions because um, many of our kids are immunocompromised. Many of our kids can't get vaccines for different um, health reasons. As of right now, masks aren't required for visitors and patients. We are strongly encouraging families and visitors and patients to mask. Um, we will have masks available for them. There will be signs to support them in, in that. Um, but we have not moved, we've not yet moved to the level of saying they must wear them on our campus. Dr. Richard Falcone with Cincinnati Children's says that can and may change. They're monitoring the spread of respiratory illnesses through both local and national data. Also starting Monday, the public can request free at home COVID-19 tests. The Biden administration announced it's providing $600 million in funding to produce new tests. Those tests are very good. They're amazingly good. The one thing about a home test is that it really takes two to say for sure that you're negative, whereas one says you're positive. The director of Hamilton County Public Health says if you test at home, it's important you go online and report it. So we have an idea of the rates and that will help inform the hospital systems on what they need to do as well. Dr. Fagan says it's best to be prepared and take precautions now because when it comes to predicting COVID-19, this is probably the most studied virus in the history of all viruses, and we still can't figure it out. Why do you think that is? Because like, that's, kind of that's what viruses do. They figure stuff out. There's that spike protein. It's unpredictable. We, th we thought it would, it would settle into some kind of pattern, um, and, and it hasn't. Now, we'll have a link on our website, WCPO.com, with how you can order your at-home tests. Reporting from Cincinnati Children's, Taylor Nimmo, WCPO 9 News.